This is a loop deck lathe. What it is, it's a control surface that uh, helps you to control uh, Adobe um, Lightroom and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I had one before, a couple of years ago, it was uh, bigger than this and it cost me 500 euros. And uh, in my music room, uh, I got rain coming in through the roof one day and the thing got really wet. And when I turned it on, it got fried. And I said, I'm not paying 500 bucks for another one, it's just too dear. However, this one I saw recently for 249 euros. And I thought, well, that's okay, because I was actually very fond of the other one. And uh, I got this, it's got profiles built in for Lightroom and for Premiere Pro. Uh, if I want to use it for Cakewalk, my audio production software, like I did with the last one, I have to make up my own macros and keystrokes and put it all in there myself. And it's worth it at the end of the day to do that. So without any further ado, I shall show you two demos I did for, for um, Premiere Pro and for Lightroom. And I hope you like them. This is how I've configured Loop Deck Live to work with Lightroom Classic. It comes already with the profile for Lightroom Classic. I've just added a few buttons to it. Um, so let's start. It's in uh, library mode, so I'm going to select the photograph I'm going to use, which would be this one here, look. So first of all, let's give it a label. We'll give it a red label, and let's give it four stars. And there we go. And now let's move to develop mode. And there we are, we're in develop mode. And I can immediately adjust the exposure of the photograph play with the contrast. I'll just leave it at that, it's just for the demo. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a preset to it. And these presets I think came with Loop Deck. I love this one here. That's not really nice. We go back to develop mode, we go before and after, and you can see the photograph, what I've done to it. So let's move on to one more photo. Um, I like this one here. Okay, let's just go in and immediately adjust the exposure a bit, a bit of contrast, just for the demo. So let's leave it at that. And we put our red color preset on, which I think looks lovely. And the last thing I'm gonna do here is go back to develop mode, go into crop, adjust the crop size to there, Bring the photo down a little bit, so it's in the crop. There we are, and apply crop. There it is. And now we see before and after. And does that not look gorgeous? So that is how I use Loot Deck Live with Lightroom Classic. I hope you liked the video. This is how I have configured my Loop Deck Live to work with Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you a little demo here. I've got some clips of uh, my son, Sean, and I diving in the Red Sea a few years back. And I'm gonna use those. So what I wanna do is I wanna to go to the last clip. So I use move along to the last clip. There it is. Now I'm just going to, with the mouse, I'm just gonna move the clip there so you'll see it better. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to trim the beginning of the clip. I want actually to come in, uh, I want to come in after this zoom here. So just there. Now I can jog back one frame at a time, or I can go back five frames at a time. So let's go to the end of the zoom. Let's say there is fine. And now we'll cut it. And you can see there that there's a cut in that clip. It's now two clips. And now I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to go back to there. And now I'm going to press ripple delete. And the clip's gone, just like that. Next thing I want to do is I want to trim the out point. I want to cut it. We make it really short when I finish the hand movement there. So I'm just going to jog back to the hand movement. There it is, that'll do. And again, we will cut it like so. And now we want to select the last portion of the clip. In other words, that one there. And we press delete, 
and it's gone. Just like that. So let's go back a little bit and just play it and you'll see. And that's it, that's how you do it. Of course, to color grade, we go in here. Uh, I just put the PC onto color, so you'll see what I'm doing here with, with everything. And we can now just adjust the basic settings here very easily um, with all these knobs. So that is the test over on how to use the Loop Deck Live with Premiere Pro. So I hope you liked those demos I did for Premiere Pro and Lightroom for the Loop Deck Live. Go out and buy one and maybe Loop Deck will give me a few bob along the way. Who knows? Until the next time, cheerio.